There's something hidden beneath the sand. It doesn't move. It doesn't chase. But the moment you step close, it strikes. This predator doesn't chase. It can't. With no speed and no legs for running, it survives by becoming invisible. Beneath the sand, it waits silent, still, and deadly. What it lacks in muscle, it makes up for with design, patience, and terrifying precision. In deserts and dusty corners of the world, where life fights for every drop of water, one tiny insect has mastered survival, not by running or hiding, but by building traps. This creature is called the Antlion larva. It's not much to look at, small, strange, with a wide body and sharp jaws. But it's one of the most patient and clever hunters in the insect world. While others chase their prey, it does the opposite. It digs, it waits, and when the moment comes, it strikes. How does such a fragile insect turn the ground into a weapon? And what secrets lie just beneath the sand? The antlion larva looks like it came from a different world. About the size of a grain of rice, its body is flat, wide, and covered in tiny hairs. Its head is massive compared to the rest of its body, with huge sickle-shaped jaws that curve inward like hooks. These jaws are hollow, designed to suck the life out of anything it catches. You'll mostly find antlions in dry, sandy places, deserts, loose soil, or even garden pots. That's because they need soft ground to build their traps. The antlion starts life as an egg. When it hatches, it's already a hunter. But this stage, the larva, is where all the action happens. It doesn't grow much. It doesn't explore. It just eats and waits. This hunting phase can last up to three years. That's right, three years of sitting still, buried in sand, ambushing anything that slips into its trap. Only when it's full and ready does it spin a cocoon, transform, and emerge with wings as an adult. But before that peaceful transformation, it's all about survival. And that raises a question. How does something so tiny and so slow outsmart one of the fastest, strongest insects of all? The ant. The antlion doesn't chase food. It builds a battlefield. With its flat body, it starts to move in slow spirals, digging backward in the sand. Bit by bit, it flicks sand out with its head, forming a perfect cone like a tiny crater. This takes patience. Precision. The walls have to be just steep enough so nothing can climb out once it falls in. This structure isn't random. It's engineered. The sloping sides make sure anything that enters starts sliding down faster than it can escape. And the antlion? It waits silently at the bottom, buried under the sand, only its jaws poking out. Now comes the most impressive part, how it knows something is near. The antlion can feel vibrations in the sand, a single footstep, a distant struggle. It doesn't have good eyes or ears, but it can sense motion like a living alarm system. The moment it feels movement, it prepares. It doesn't panic. It doesn't move. It waits perfectly still because it knows something is coming. So what happens when an ant powerful, fast, and confident steps too close to the edge of that quiet little pit? The ant reaches the edge, one step too far, and suddenly the ground collapses beneath it. The antlion's trap has done its job. As the ant slips into the cone, its feet scramble for grip, but the loose sand gives way with every movement. The harder it tries to climb, the faster it slides back down. Then the antlion moves, for the first time in hours, maybe days. It starts flicking sand upward with its flat head, tiny bursts, fast and sharp. Each flick hits the ant like a wave, knocking it off balance, pushing it closer to the center where danger waits. The pit isn't just a hole, it's a weapon. The antlion's sand flicking is so well-timed, so precise, that it turns a struggling insect into a falling one. And when the ant is finally close enough, the jaws strike. Two curved fangs snap shut. The antlion injects digestive fluids that paralyze and break down the ant from the inside. Then it sucks. The liquid remains through those hollow jaws. It doesn't chew. It doesn't tear. It simply drains. When it's done, it flicks the empty body out of the pit like trash and starts rebuilding the trap. The whole process starts again. But what happens when this patient killer no longer needs to hunt? When hunger fades and something new begins to grow inside it, after months, sometimes even years of waiting, hunting, and feeding, 
The antlion larva finally stops digging. It buries itself one last time, not to attack, but to transform. Deep beneath the surface, it spins a tiny silk cocoon. Inside, its body starts to change. The wide head, the jagged jaws, the spiny legs, they all soften, reshape. It becomes something almost unrecognizable. When it emerges, it has long, delicate wings like lace, big eyes, a thin body. It looks more like a dragonfly than the creature it used to be. And something else is different, it no longer hunts. Adult antlions are fragile. Some don't even eat at all. Others drink nectar or water. Their main purpose now is to find a mate and continue the cycle. The creature that once built perfect death traps now drifts through the air silent, light, and harmless. It's a strange transformation from a brutal ambusher to a quiet traveler, but maybe that's the beauty of it. Still, it makes you wonder, why would nature create such a deadly engineer only to turn it into something that floats quietly through the night sky? The antlion larva doesn't run, it doesn't chase, it waits, plans, and builds. It uses nothing but sand, silence, and timing to turn the world into a weapon. With no real strength, no speed, and no second chances, it survives through pure design. Then, when its work is done, it disappears. It becomes something softer, lighter, quieter. Maybe there's something to learn from that. That power doesn't always shout. That strategy can be stronger than strength. That even the smallest, strangest creature can master the art of survival. So here's the question. If a tiny insect can build the perfect trap, what could we build if we truly paid attention? If this tiny trap builder amazed you, there's a whole world of hidden hunters out there. Like, comment, and subscribe for more strange and clever stories from nature. And don't miss the next video. It's even wilder.